Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 62. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then my college website link, and download the workbook, YouTubers Love Excel 5862. Hey, trick number 62, this YouTuber asked an awesome question. He's doing V lookup here, and he has the value to look up, and every time it's Sue here, he wants to go over and get the code. So we'd want to deliver 653. But look at this. This Tacoma, it comes from a different table. So if it says Tacoma, he wants to return the code 256. Now the way he had this set up is he has the table name in this column. And so he wanted to do a view lookup and reference this table name. Well, first we have to name these tables. I'm going to highlight this uh, table right here and name it name. When you're using VLOOKUP, don't highlight the field names at the top. I'm going to click up in the name box and call this NAME Enter. You got to hit Enter. And then the town, this is the table for town. The table for town. And I'm going to come over here into the name box and call it Town Enter. All right, and now he started with this for me. He says VLOOKUP. And the lookup value, that's the thing you want to look up and find the corresponding value in the second column from the table. So that's the lookup value, comma. And he wanted to get the table name from this cell right here. So he just clicked on that. There's a problem with that, and we'll see. And then he wanted to return the value from the second column. Second column so that for either one of these tables, he wants to return it from column one, column two. Here it would be column one, column two. So he needs to return the code from column two. And since they're looking up words, uh, names, or cities, you have to put zero here because it's a it's false or exact match. So we'll just put a zero for false. Uh oh, N A not available because this right here, and we can highlight this and see what it's doing. I'm going to hit highlight it and hit F9. F9 is the calculate key, and you can see it's in quotes, so Excel actually thinks it's text, not the name of a range. Quickly hit Control Z to get rid of it. Now, all you have to do to convert text to a cell range is use the indirect function. The indirect function takes a text string and converts it to a reference. So I'm going to put the indirect function around here. Indirect and put around that right there. And sure enough, watch this. If I double click that C4 and hit F9, the calculate, you can see that Excel think that's a word or text because it's in quotes. Control Z, but watch this. If I highlight the indirect and the that cell range, reference and hit F9, whoa, it's looking at the cell range. And it's showing me all the values there, Control Z. Control Enter, and there it is. And then you can double click and send it down. So that's how to use uh, VLOOKUP if you have your ta a bunch of tables and your table name is actually in the uh, uh, data set. Use the indirect function. All right, we'll see you next Excel trick.